Joker's already a controversial film, even though it hasn't come out yet, which is surprising in and of itself and something we've talked about before. But comments from Joker director Todd Phillips actually might be a little more controversial to some fans. It's not to me, but I'm sure some people are going to take this and run with it. There's always been this DC and Marvel war between the movies, and I understand that the MCU is not everybody's cup of tea. Clearly it's not. But with how successful it's been and how highly regarded the films are, they are doing a lot of stuff right. DC's had some other missteps and issues on their way to try to make a universe and to try to make films. You can see that in both The Suicide Squad and The Justice League. But they really were trying to compete with Marvel for a while, and it seems like now they've really backed off of that. And this is really backed up by Todd Phillips, the director of Joker, who said, You can't beat Marvel. It's a giant behemoth. So instead, he decided to say, Let's do something they can't do. And now what he's referring to here is several different aspects of the Joker. Not only is this a more psychological and in-depth film on the psychology of a villain and of a character as they devolve over time, but it's also an R-rated movie, which none of the MCU movies as of yet have been. They probably eventually will hit that point with something like Deadpool, but so far, they have not. And Joker's R-rated for strong bloody violence, disturbing behavior, language, and brief sexual images. It's also worth noting, as mentioned by this article on Games Radar, that Phillips might even be doing a sequel of Joker eventually. Recently he told Total Film, if people show up to this movie and Warner Brothers came to us and said, you know what, if you guys could think of something, well, I have a feeling that he and I could think of something pretty cool. So there's a lot here to unpack. Not only does it appear that DC is trying to back off from competing directly with the MCU, which is probably a good idea for their own creativity and success, but also they've decided to go their own direction, make something that Marvel can't or has decided they're not going to make right now, which I think is good for all of us consumers. That gives us more variety in the movie place, especially with superheroes where there's not a ton of variety right now in terms of who's actually out there. It's really all just Marvel right now. So that gives us some variety on that front. It also gives us variety in the taste-making sense that this is a totally different type of movie than a normal Marvel movie or even uh, your typical Justice League film. And finally, there might be a second Joker movie that'll happen at some point. We're not sure how this will go down, especially since, at least right now, the plan has been declared that Pattinson's Batman will not cross over with the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, but if this is a really good movie like it's poised to be, that's exciting news, I think, for everybody. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you be excited for a second Joker film? Are you happy that DC is going their own way and making stuff that Marvel wouldn't be making and that there's going to be this difference in the movie market? Or would you still like to see a really broad, big DC extended universe, kind of like the MCU, to rival the MCU? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more content, and guys, lately a lot of people have not been seeing our new videos, notifications have not been getting sent to people, so definitely make sure to click that bell so you can make sure that you have your notifications on and you're getting up to date content from this channel. We appreciate the heck out of you guys. Love you. Have a great and awesome day.